Any indication yet in terms of what Catalonia will do? That's right, man. It's essentially, he's got three hours to go to answer this question. Remember, it's a simple yes or no answer. Did you declare it to public or did you not? Now, Catalan media, very close to the government, yesterday night reported that Puigdemont, the Catalan regional president, is actually going to ignore this petition and instead will answer with a number of reasons, just detailing why he thinks the referendum was valid and why he thinks uh, the quest for independence should go on again. Like you mentioned, this is something that Madrid will clearly interpret as a yes. I did declare a Republic and obviously put in motion Article 155. And how is the how is all of this affecting the Catalan economy so far, Maria? We heard uh, declarations of moving headquarters. Of course, they came through quick and uh, 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 quick and fast at the height of this crisis a week or so ago. But of course, moving a headquarters is not the same as the underlying economy. So what's what's happening on the ground? That's right. Well, we're now actually hearing comments from officials in Madrid, like the economy minister, Luis Aguindas, who basically warned over the weekend, look, this is a powerhouse economy, but if tensions were to continue, we see this effect in the overall Spanish economy. And he warned, again, remember, the Spanish economy was meant to update the market on their forecast for next year, and they didn't when the budget was pulled because they didn't have enough votes to pass it. Now, Aguindas is saying we might have to revise this law, where it's a 2.6 percent growth forecast. At the moment, they might have to cut it if the tension continue and again S&P was more explicit over the weekend essentially saying look if we see this continuing we could actually see a big decline big slowdown in Catalonia potentially a recession now remember we have the terror attacks and now we're having this so it's been almost a month a month and a half of tensions in Catalonia which could play out in the wider economy and now we're getting the first indication that this might be the case especially when we look at sectors like tourism and sectors that obviously depend on business confidence. Maria obviously the, the choice well, the outcome could be binary. It depend, depends where he goes. But if he didn't declare independence, his risk is, of course, that the separatist alliance begins to unravel. And that has consequences, electoral consequences, in terms of taking Catalonia towards another, another referendum. Is that correct? That's correct, and that's one of the big questions. If you look at Mariano Rajoy, why is he giving Puigdemont two warnings this week, essentially? If he says, yes, I declared a republic, he will also be given, remember, three more days still Thursday to actually rectify his behavior. And that is because Madrid is hoping they don't actually have to apply Article 155 and tensions within the Together for Yes coalition. And remember, we've reported this throughout. There are serious tensions in this coalition, especially the more radical side. So they're hoping that maybe by Thursday, the Together for Yes platform will probably implode if he kind of gives in a hint that he's backtracking on this. Again, Puigdemont could call a regional election, or if he decides to continue and go forward, the central government would obviously take over the region. And again, Article 155 goes beyond dismissing the regional press, and they could also establish a new caretaker government, or they could set up a deadline for a new regional election. So again, you're very right. A lot of this points to another regional election in Catalonia.